the Commonwealth Update brought you by Ababet. Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching PM Edition in Sports News tonight. National Netball side, the She Cranes have booked a date with South Africa for positions five and six at the ongoing Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, UK. This comes as new sports minister Peter Ogwang met the athletes today. Clive Chazay has all the details. Yes, uh, good evening, uh, Bernadette Apio, and uh, thank you for having me again tonight. Uh, just to let you know that we have a lot of action uh, going on, and it does involve a lot of Ugandans. Now, a few hours ago, the Sheik Cranes uh, did win their last uh, group game of uh, the 2022 Common World Games after they did defeat Malawi 56 43. Now, the win means that uh, they do finish up that in their group and they do book a date with South Africa. Uh, South Africa. And they will be playing tomorrow for position number five, number six. After the game, I did uh, catch up with uh, She Crane's uh, coach, uh, Fred Guerra. I asked him what uh, he thinks about his team's performance in the group stages because they played five games, uh, won three, and lost two. But also, if Mary Nuba is now his first choice shooter, why? Because Nuba has played back to back games for the first time in this competition. Performance was good because my worry was. Uh, Losing three games because this is the match that I wanted the most after losing the other two because uh, the other two countries uh, that is New Zealand, I mean, yeah, New Zealand and the, uh, England are uh, ahead of us and uh, more a bit experienced. And I wanted this one very much. Yeah. Uh, and now that I've won it, I think I would either retain the sixth position that I had when we had the, uh, the last two games uh, game or improve it to number, number five. And that's our target now. Uh, for the first time in this competition, Mary Nuba played back-to-back -back games as a goal shooter. Is that an indicator that uh, she's now your first choice goal shooter? Yeah, she, the, her performance was good, and uh, I think uh, because because when she came back there, there are some things that we told her, and when we were here, same, there are some things that we were telling her. And being that she's she was slightly taller than me, than this, uh, and this part the shorter defense, so we wanted to utilize that. Mm -hmm. Like I've told you, Uganda does play South Africa tomorrow and uh, Mugera says it is a game that they plan to put up a show and uh, they want to win on condition that the officials to behave. If, if, if the, the officiating official handle is properly and uh, because there are certain things that I've, I've seen, although I've not complained, but there are certain things that I've seen that are not going very well and if they handle that properly, I think there are people, they are already dead, both people, we are going to beat them. But As a quote. happens, mm. well and good, but... We are going to put up a very good performance. Mm -hmm. As a coach, how do you prepare your girls going into this one? Yeah, we are going to, I'm just going to tell them to be hard because I know it's going to be physical. We are going to be hard and we have to minimize on our errors. Like uh, mm -hmm. today, we did some errors in the second quarter, uh, which almost made us uh, lose our lead. But when we came back, I told the girls to, to get composed and settle, not hurry with their passes, and that's exactly what mm -hmm. they did. And, uh, we might have to snatch some of their balls. Not far from where I am, uh, the new state minister for sports, uh, Peter Ogwanga, is uh, meeting uh, the athletes who are taking part uh, in the 2022 Common World Games. Remember, he was appointed just days after these games, and uh, in a few days, uh, Hamson Obua, who has been minister, uh, will be handing over uh, office. But he did arrive in this country on Tuesday, and he has managed to watch uh, various games, and uh, this should be his first official interaction with Ugandan athletes. We are yet to ascertain what he is going to promise uh, or what he is going to tell them. But of course, those are details that we will be bringing you in our upcoming uh, politics or sports shows. But also, uh, we do have a different athletes uh, that are, are taking part in the games like we did tell you 75 athletes are representing Uganda in 13 different disciplines. One of those disciplines uh, is uh, badminton and uh, we do have actually a Ugandan in Husna who has qualified for the round of 16 in the singles. Other Ugandans have known uh, really that uh, done well in the different uh, competitions or categories but we did catch up uh, with the head coach of the national badminton team William Kalindi who is an impressed man with how his team has actually performed so far at these games. Um, I'm impressed uh, the kind of uh, result that I've been getting all the way. Uh, right today, I've uh, witnessed uh, Husna uh, make, uh, making it to the round of 16, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, Commonwealth is not easy going that far. Uh, Kasebran and Fadia lost, but it was a good fight. Uh, same like uh, Husna and uh, 
Ken also lost, but still it was a good fight. They both lost uh, to Australia. It wasn't easy, but uh, we are yet to see Kasia uh, Bryan play uh, this uh, evening. And then also Anagali and Husna will be playing uh, their uh, second uh, game in the mixed doubles. So I am hopeful we are going to have more results at least coming up. Tomorrow, gold medalists are in the women's 3,000 meters. A steel boat chaser, Peruta Chemtai, will be in action as she tries to redeem herself. Everyone thought that she would be able to put up a show in the World Championships in Oregon, but it wasn't the case. And we are waiting to see if she will be using the Commonwealth Games to redeem herself as her action does continue. For CTVPM edition, Clive Jose is my name in Birmingham, United Kingdom. The Commonwealth Update, brought to you by Ababate.